Hi everyone, um, so today I'm going to show you what to do with your display packs once you download them from the website. Our display packs um, match all of our planners and designs, they've been created by myself and Lois the Display Lady. Um, so we really hope you enjoy using them. So this is an example of what you can do with your display pack once you get it. Um, so let's have a look at Red Pop. So when I open Red Pop's um, file, you can see all the different um, files you can get inside, all the different things you can get inside of there. If you double click on it and it says um, it can't be opened, try moving that whole file to your own document rather than your download file and it should work from there. Um, so let's have a look first of all at the file labels. So these fit perfectly onto A4 files. So you've got the front and the back and then you've also got some spine labels as well. So obviously on a PDF, I can't write on here, I can't put any text on here unless you've got um, Adobe Pro. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can create any font, anything you like onto your display pack label. So let's try that again. So I'm going to show you by opening up the file. I'm going to go to File, Export to image and then either a jpeg or png i prefer the png for this and then i'm just going to save it you can see all of my files let's try here um i'm going to save it as a picture in a file okay so once i've done that i can then go to any blank a blank document I'm going to use um, PowerPoint because you guys know I love using PowerPoint but you can do this in Microsoft Word as well if you wanted to so blank presentation and I'm going to go to design and I've shown you this before in my other video about how to change your PowerPoint screen to an A4 size Okay, so now I've got my blank presentation, I can insert the picture that I've just saved into PowerPoint. So I'm going to go to insert pictures, picture from file, and I'm just going to search for that um, one that I had. There it is. Okay, so all I've done there, I'm having, is going to put it in exactly the same size as it is in my PDF, so I don't need to resize it or anything unless I want it to be bigger. So now I've got it into my PowerPoint, I can insert a text box and I can add text to my file cover. So I might want this one to be um, my NQT evidence file. So I'm going to make this nice and fancy because um, you know I can't stand just a plain font. Um, let's try scaling that up. Okay, so once I've done that, I can insert text wherever else I want to. So once I've done my um, front, I might then want to do my side bits for my file as well. So again, when I've saved that as a PNG, it's saved all the pages in the um, PDF as PNGs as well. So you can see it split them into the three pages that are in that PDF file. 
So I've got that was the first page. This was the second page, which is the back of the file. And then this was the last page, which, the, which was the spine of the file. So I can insert the spine. Obviously, it's going to insert the whole um, whole spine page. So because I don't need all of them, I only need, say, I only want this one because I'm going to have a lever arch file. I can just crop out the one that I don't need. And then I can add my text to the one that I do want. So insert text. And we're going to do it that way. And let's just put NQT file. And I just need to change the direction. And I'm just going to do that to change the direction. And there we have it. So I can just print both of those off now. I could print them onto sticker paper, so then it's adhesive and I can just stick it straight onto my file. Or I could stick it, um, I could cut it out and then laminate it however you wanted to do it. But that's a really simple way of getting any font you want onto the new display packs.